You're listening to The Kelly Cutrera Show. You want candy? I got candy. I'm sitting in a boatload of candy, a wagon full of candy that was delivered to Chorus Key earlier on by the two little elves who uh, visited us from the Candy Fun House. It is North America's biggest online candy retailer, and it's actually here in Toronto. That's where the warehouse is. Um, you may have heard of this place before because about a year ago, they were looking for a chief candy officer. And the job pays quite well, about a hundred thousand dollar annual salary. And we spoke to the folks at Candy Fun House then, when they were, you know, looking for the chief candy officer, about you know what would this this job would entail. Now the uh, posting closed down August thirtieth or thirty first, uh, about a year ago, and they still have not hired. Why? Because they've come up with the brilliant idea of wonkifying the heck out of this opportunity for someone. They're going to turn it into a reality show. Here to talk about it, Dave Theodoropoulos, who is Chief Marketing Officer at Candy Funhouse, joins the Kelly Cotrera Show. Listen, first off, your two elves that drop by today with a wagon full of uh, candies. Can I thank uh, them on behalf of everybody here at Chorus Key uh, for all of the candy? Wow, I'm hopped up. Can you hear? I can, absolutely. That's great to hear. Yes, they were excited to come down and meet the folks there. They were absolutely lovely. They brought the joy. They brought the sugar. And uh, you guys are still looking for this chief candy officer. Um, We are, yes. You had 200,000 applications. We did, and we were completely surprised and overwhelmed with the response. Uh, there was there was uh, global media coverage about the, about the topic, and uh, you know, as, as a small company in Toronto that uh, has about forty employees, that works out to be about seven hundred and fifty resumes to review every single day for an entire year. So, needless to say, there was a bit of a challenge in getting through all of that, but. During the course of that time, we started to talk about, hey, wouldn't this be great if we could uh, give a bit more behind the scenes about the selection process and actually put it into a reality television show, which uh, which we're looking to do. Okay, so you're looking, do you already have a production company all set out and has this started rolling or are you in the uh, in the full throes of kind of conceiving this idea and shopping it around? Great question. Great question. So Candy Funhouse has partnered with a company called Fly on the Wall Entertainment, and they are the producers of the hit show Big Brother. Okay. And, uh, Big Brother's been around for 25 years, and we reached out to them saying, hey, look, here's the situation. We've got, we've got 200,000 interested people in this, this role. And we want to bring it to life. And uh, in chats with them, they said it would make for uh, a great reality TV show. So we've, we've partnered with them and they're currently uh, in talks with uh, both streamers and uh, network companies to see who is uh, going to be the ideal fit for this show to come to life. Your company is called Candy Fun House. Are you going to build like a fun house where you will have like what's the theory behind this show right. choosing? Because <laughs> this is a hundred thousand dollar job. So you just don't want anybody walking in off the street. Uh, you want somebody that has a good palate for candy, knows, I would imagine, trends, understands the power of nostalgia. What else are you looking for and how are you legitimately going through those applications to try and find uh, who to put into this candy funhouse, I would imagine, uh, yeah. so they can duel it out? Great question. So we've had a lot of back and forth debating as to who would be the ideal uh, chief candy officer. And, you know, we've opened it up to anyone in the U.S. and Canada that was interested. So we ended up collecting the 200,000 resumes. The requirements just had to be you had to be five years or older and you had to have a passion for candy. As long as uh, you, you had that, then you were eligible for the role. Now, we've had a wide gamut of uh, interest from from uh, kids that are five, six years old. Uh, one of them was on the Ellen DeGeneres show uh, way back as a prodigy uh, child that's uh, just brilliant mind. We've had one of the former contestants on America's Got Talent apply for the role. We've had uh, marketing experts, you name it, we've had people apply for it. So uh, this is what's going to make for really interesting television in terms of seeing just the different uh, dynamic of people all looking for this, this, this one role. Okay, what is a chief candy officer? R- refresh our memories. Yeah, so the chief candy officer. This is going to be a coveted role that we're paying $100,000 a year where this person gets to taste all the great candy coming in, be part of uh, our candy boardroom meetings, be one of the faces of the brand. So on our social media channels, be it TikTok, Instagram, uh, Twitter, I guess X now, uh, basically they're going to be able to uh, showcase themselves on our channels and really just help with the brand, bringing it to life and coming up with some wacky ideas. You're looking for a Willy Wonka. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I was uh, I was kind of auditioning for the job because your elves brought back by so many different candies. 
Uh, I've been playing with uh, Santiago, our technical producer today. Uh, we've been playing nice. Pickle Roulette, which are sour punch bites. They taste like apple pickle, lemon lime, watermelon. Basically, you reach in, they all look the same. You got to find out who gets the pickle. You know it when you taste the pickle. You Let me know tell it. you that. You, absolutely. When you get that pickle flavor, you absolutely know it. It's a fun game. And uh, all of these products, including that, you can get at candyfunhouse.com. I believe the team also, and I don't know if you're allowed to test live on the air, but yeah. we also got. Uh, Straight from Australia, just off off the truck, uh, lifesavers. We have pineapple dip in chocolate, and I've got it right here. <clears throat> so I haven't even had a chance to try it. It literally just came out. But um, those are the kind of things that when you you know you go to Candy Fun House, it's everything from those nostalgic brands you grew up on to products you probably never even heard of before. And um, yeah. All right, trying, I've got the you know. I've got the uh, lifesavers pineapple milk chocolate jellies. Is that what you're talking about? That's the one I'm talking about, yes. Trying them live. They're, they're <laughs> delicious. Right? Mm hmm So you can imagine yourself as a chief candy officer being able to try something, give your honest opinion, give your review about it, and be able to help either sell that product or say, you know what, this, this just isn't for Candy Fun House. So that'll be one of the, the many tasks that we have uh, planned for our chief candy officer. I just broke a bunch of rules with radio, first of all. Never eat chocolate on the air. Secondly, never eat on the air. Thirdly, don't be bold about it in front of your boss who's probably listening going, what are you doing right now? Um, the first thing you taste with that Lifesaver new pineapple and milk chocolate jellies is you get that chocolate and it's a solid chocolate. It's um, And what I mean by solid is it's a, got a beautiful mouthfeel. It tastes nice. It's not waxy. And then you get right into the uh, the jelly, which is sort of like a gummy. It's not. It's got a nice... Uh, bite back, so it, it's got a, a good mouthfeel, and it tastes uh, very subtly like pineapple. So it just subtly takes over. And that's a finishing note that See, you would Kelly, get. And this is where I'm hoping you actually applied for the chief candy officer. I did not because articulated. Oh, okay, listen, well, I love my job, but if you're looking for a host, um, <laughs> this is kind of interesting too. Limited edition uh, churro Kit Kat. I'm fascinated right. by that. I mean, you've got candies from all over the world, so you can, you have to have an adventurous palate. For this job, because if you don't, um, you're you're not going to do well. You absolutely. So you have to be able to uh, not be afraid of exploring a little bit. Um, and every day is just really interesting. Like just the other day, we got a Kit Kat uh, frosted donut flavor. Again, you're not going to see this in your typical store. So if you come to CandyFunnels.com, you're going to be able to see all sorts of products, the, the brands you love, but in ways you've never seen them before. How quickly? Can you, yeah. can I, I know you're going to get into one of your favorites, so I'm going to let you go there. But I know a lot of people are thinking, boy, oh boy, uh, you know, candy's always good at Christmas time. How, and unusual candy for the hard to buy for. How quickly can you deliver on time? Because we've got six days till Christmas. Would you be able to order and get deliveries out to the GTA in time for Christmas? Yeah, if it's local, we have a much better shot of that because yeah. we ship to the U.S. as well. That becomes a bit more a challenge at this this close uh, period. But if people are looking to uh, order uh, locally, we will make sure to be able to get the products out on time. Okay, so what's your favorite? My favorite, I would have to say, is Blueberry Muffin Kit Kat. And just because when you ex what you typically would expect from a Kit Kat is just unlike anything you've ever tried before. So that's probably my ultimate favorite. And I hear the rapping. Nope. Paper. Can't speak to that. But I got a Starburst all pink. I got, I guess that's a Barbie th nod. I got some Mintos Fanta. I got some Boba Milk Tea Jelly Bellies. I got, uh, ooh, these look good. Coconut flavored M&Ms. So fun fact for you, the Mentos Fanta, that happens to be a personal favorite, favorite of Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, NBA All-Star. Uh, several months back, we announced that he actually joined on as one of our owners of the company. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's fun. So yeah, you have quite a quite a grouping at Candy Fun House. We, we really do. Uh, we, we center ourselves at the intersection of pop culture and candy. So any of the candy experience you have tied to movies, tied to sports, uh, you name it. That's that's really where we, we, we reside. And we've been able to get uh, a bit of an interesting following. And uh, like I mentioned, Giannis Antetokounmpo joined on. He's actually signed on to be the executive producer of the television show we're putting together. So it's it's been a wild ride, but super fun. Let me ask you this. Is there, a, you know, I know you're an online um, retailer and the biggest in North America for candy at Candy Fun House, but do you have like a little store attached to your warehouse? 
We don't have a retail store. Okay. Uh, we actually, interestingly enough, we started there, but yep. we moved online, especially during the course of the pandemic. But uh, never say never. We might look for some opportunities to get some retail locations, perhaps a pop-up or so. But uh, as it stands right now, CandyFunhouse.com is the place to go. Amazing. Dave, thanks so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. And thanks again for all of the uh, holiday candy. Uh, this will keep mm-hmm. us going for the rest of the week at Chorus Key for sure. Amazing. My pleasure, Kelly. Thanks again for having me on. Happy holidays. Dave Theodoropoulos, uh, Candy Funhouse's Chief Marketing Officer.